salad, anyone? I just lost my appetite. You've got some time on your hands now that you've been banned from practicing medicine, huh? News travels fast. Especially good news. You know something? I think I'm gonna double up. Mr. Lavery, table limit's 20,000. We'll make an exception for the doctor. I... I mean for Mr. Hayward. 19. Twenty. House wins. Greenlee and I are going to have a little talk. Would you mind waiting just a few minutes? Of course not. I actually have a few phone calls to make. Excuse me. Greenlee, do you not remember what I said to you after David's trial? I don't need another lecture. You hate that I got him acquitted. You hate that I testified. I heard every single one. What I said was, I want my daughter back. And I meant it. Look, clearly you've made your choice to stay with David, even though you know how I feel about the man. Well, I hope your choice isn't to stay with Erica, since you know I think she's the biggest... Erica opponent. and I are still feeling things out, but we will be spending more time together, just like you're going to be staying married to David. So it seems to me we need to figure this thing out so that we can coexist peacefully. We could stop seeing each other. Well, that's not going to happen. Greenlee, it wasn't that long ago I thought I'd never see you again. And then you walked into the chapel at Wildwind. So, even though we hate each other's choices, we're going to have to keep loving each other, taking care of our relationship. So when it gets a little tense, we're going to go do something fun like uh, bowling or a renaissance fair or maybe a movie. You buy the popcorn? And the candy and the soda pop. Deal. Done. Where are you going, babe? I want to find a table with a higher limit and more privacy. That sounds like a great idea. Please stay and bet as much as you want. In fact, I'll make sure the house knows that your checks are good. Okay. Better yet... Why don't you borrow from the house, you know, the way things are going? Such generosity. Oh, what a wonderful surprise. Ryan, I think you know my beautiful wife. Yes. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> Surprised to see you here. I heard you hired Ted to be your manager for a little while. Yeah, he was busy. Enjoy yourselves. What are you doing here? I'm speaking for you. I called about 50 times. Well, I turned my cell phone off. I wanted to concentrate. Since when are you going to play cards? Since I decided to buy a controlling interest at Pine Valley Hospital. It's the perfect time. Angie's in way over her head. Joe Martin has retired. Adam's stepping down from the board. Palmer, well, he couldn't have picked a better time to take his leave from this world. <laughs> That's a little cold. Maybe, but you can't argue with the fact that's exactly the kind of business boy he would use. He's probably smiling up at us right now as we speak, enjoying my power play. Mm, so what are you doing here? Well, these, uh, these shares aren't going to come cheap, so, you know, I have the assets, but I need liquidity, cash. You know, so I thought I would try my luck here. How's it working out for you? I'm down about 50 grand. <laughs> so why don't you stick around, okay? You can bring me love. I think we should get out of here. Stop giving your money to Ryan. You know what? I'll chip in. I'll help you buy your shares. We'll be partners. Beats being partners with Erica. Come on. Let's go home. Thank you for offering to invest in the hospital. And for pulling me away from that blackjack table. Obviously, there was a good chance I might lose. That's why they call it gambling. I just would have loved to wipe that smug look off of Ryan's face. Get a big win. That's what you'll be doing from now on. Winning big, just like you did in court. Thanks to you. No matter what they throw at us, we'll come out on top. You lose your medical license, but soon you'll take control of the hospital. Again, thanks to you. The point is, we make a great team. Yes, we do. So, partner, I have a huge favor to ask. 
Anything. Don't say that until you hear what it is. Try me. You know I can't say no to you. Even up to half my kingdom. So come on, if there's something you really want, just ask. Angie Hubbard saved my life after they took me out of that bomb shelter. Jake and I aren't on the best of terms, but he's been a great friend. And even though I'm a thousand percent behind your plan to take over the hospital, I don't want you to fire them. Wow. You drive a hard bargain, Mrs. Hayward. Tell me something I don't know. Well, I guess it would be more fun to wield power over them permanently, rather than getting a short-term thrill and firing them all at once. Let's just agree to disagree about certain people. <laughs> You're right, like everyone. I mean, come on, how many people do you care about that I despise, and vice versa? The list is endless. All that matters is how we feel about each other. We're about to become king and queen of Pine Valley. You know something? You are absolutely right. This town is suffering from a severe lack of leadership. So it's our responsibility to take the reins, right? I'll control the hospital. You'll control fusion. Together we'll have it all. And I will be the envy of everyone in Pine Valley because I have the most amazing woman at my side. My beautiful wife. I am one lucky man. fire for the season. Uh, not yet, though. I'm chilly. Oh. I love the fantasy you were talking about before. Two of us rolling Pine Valley. Everyone else burning up with jealousy. I love it, too. It's not a fantasy. It will be reality. Our reality. Absolutely certain. We're two passionate people, David. We need more than just a partnership in this marriage. You want me. I want you. It's much more complicated than You that. told me if I wanted something, all I had to do was ask. I'm asking. If you give yourself to me, I want all of you. Heart, your soul, your mind, your body. And I will give you all of myself in return. So you have to really think about this, Greenlee. Are you sure? Yes.